Welcome back to Svorlark and let's check out where Sari is. There is actually a blacksmith. See what he can do. What brings it to me? What? A lot of stuff I can't use. Level 22. Well, here goes nothing. But he can have those. Oh wait, he can't can need something some crafted. Stuff. Let's repair everything. That's good. What brings nah. it? Wanted to enhance Farewell. our sword. I hate when they place it so close to each other. Very well. Now we got the sure. Let's go with the sword. Yeah, I always do that. Down the Do you have Show me what some Redanian spirit? Nope. No Redanian spirit. So long. But down the duck. So long. Mm -mm. Really? The map tells me to go in there? <laughs> okay, I think the map marker is broken sometimes. What's that? So, can I well, use this door probably? You can loot stuff. Wait, what do you have? Okay. Nothing special. Here we go. We'll be done in a moment. And then. A giant sea snake swam up and bit my arm off. The gods have spoken. A sacrifice is needed. To my mind, it's about you defeating a snake, Yah. No, they demand a sacrifice. I'm sure of it. It's time. We must wait for a clearer sign. At least till your next dreaming. I don't need no more signs. Here's a sign. Looking for Ceres. Heard she stayed here. On Crate's daughter. Aye, she was here. Where is she now? Hmm. What? Ceres. <laughs> Where's Ceres? Dunno. Dunno. Enough of the questions. What's with you, dude? You're confusing. I say something wrong? You must forgive the Earl. Hasn't been feeling well of late. Is he sick? He didn't seem quite right during Croc's feast, but... <coughs> Forgive me. I must go to him. Where's that Ceres? dude looks awfully like the Pella on Bella. Uh, I don't know. Must be the same Ask character around. model. Great. <laughs> mm -mm. Remember when that storm caught us in Old Bay? I like it were yesterday. Off gun fell overboard and near drowned. Feel your sour with the waves. Let's ask around. Nine Greetings. Years? Ha! Nary a soul for months. Then one day guests from afar start dropping like rain in springtime. You weary traveller? Hungry? 
Looking for Ceres, Jarl on Crate's daughter. Ah, you found her. Or near to. Lass was just here. Know where she might have gone? Took an interest in our Jarl. Asked about his childhood. So I told her to see Berg <laughs> Thora and Eirik. Who are Berg Thora and Eirik? Years ago, Eirik was close with the old Jarl. Was the Jarl that helped him win Berg Thora's <laughs> hand. They lived toward the east end of the village. Take care. Thank Bless you. you. And my blessings to Ceres when you see her. Sorry to interrupt. You need something? Come, let's have a pint of that shit. <laughs> Thanks, but I'm short on time. Looking for a girl named Ceres. Crack on Crate's daughter. She was here. But I'm not. Mm. Thanks. Crack on crates. Take care. <laughs> Greetings. <I'm> a... <laughs> Lucky chap you are then. Truth be told, I'm taken. But village is brimming with lovely girls. <laughs> lovely? Did you say lovely girls? Where? Maybe one would be willing to show me around the island. Well, there's Vea, lovely one, Cooper's <laughs> daughter. Though, now Deborah, there's a fine lass. Teeth bang on straight. Though, there is a growth under her right eye. Hmm. <laughs> Maya's got a right dreamy face. Ah, nuts. Now I give it a think, well, not. I'm looking for Sarah. The skinny thing. Lovely doe eyes, true, and she's from an honorable house. But the lass is gone as a sapling. I don't know where she is, and her father. Ugh, tell Crack to calm down. No Skellige lass can perish in her own isles. All right, she was here a few hours. Went to find me man Irek. Needed to talk, she said. They should be on the beach, t'other side of the isle. Thanks. Take. Good luck searching. Hero like that. Gotta be true. Thank you. Let's go. Swarming like gulls around the waist heap. Ah, I'd be sure we showed them. We seem to remember you sitting on that rock. Ah, but if not for me warning, you'd be herring bit about now. And if not for the love of Freya, all right. Have it your way. You saved me, no? No. Just tell me where to find Ceres. Must be daft. You helped me with the sea devils. But that don't mean I'm willing to gossip about Uncrate's daughter. Mm -mm. Think for a minute. If not for the Jarl, would I know to look for her here? Ah, right. So it's like the Jarl himself sent you. Should have said so at the start. She asked about <laughs> our Jarl and his family. Went to Odeldrick's old family home. Thanks. So in order to get there we have to go around a lot. Oh. Yeah, it's up there. Hmm. 
No, wait, that's not it. Wrong way. Let's go down. No problem. Fresh footprints. Could be Ceres's. Appeared. What happened? Where am I? Oh, my head. Pain's just awful. Got hit with something heavy. Geralt? Why are you here? Came to look for you. Croc's worried. Taking you home. I won't go until I help Ulrich. The sword. Where's the sword? I've, I've got to go back. You're not going anywhere. I carried you out of there a moment ago, half dead. I have to. You have to tell me what's going on. Why'd you go in there? I wanted to help Udelric. Sure, he was acting strangely, but I don't see how your stroll through a haunted house will help him. It would have, if I'd only found the sword. So what's this sword all about? It's Brockvar, the ancestral sword of Udelric's clan. I needed to lift the curse that holds Udelric. A curse? Long story. Years ago, Udelric and his little brother butted heads over the sword. As custom has it, the clan's sword should go to the firstborn son, Udelric. But his father gave Bokfar to his little brother, Aki. <laughs> Serious insult in these lands. Serious enough for Udelric to break a sacred law here in Skellige. He openly questioned his father's decision. Guessing the old Jarl couldn't let it pass. They chained Udelric to a pile, up to his waist in the sea. Spent three days like that. When his punishment ended, he and Aki sailed out to fish. Got a feeling this trip didn't end happily. Your feeling's right. There was an accident. A storm broke out and Aki fell overboard. Udelric had his hands full with the sails. Didn't hear his brother until it was too late. Didn't hear? Or didn't want to hear? Some folk on the isle had the same doubt. But none would mention it aloud. Hmm. What do you think? Did Udoric kill Aki? I don't want to jump to any conclusions. But I do think whatever happened at sea that day, well, it's affecting Udoric right now. Powerfully so. And it could have something to do with that sword. What did you plan to do with the sword? I thought Aki's ghost would want it back. The brother's ghost? Long as I remember, folk have said Udoric's the chosen one. The one the gods speak to. I believed it once. But now, considering certain things, I think he's just haunted. And it's his dead brother that's haunting him. Daring theory. Not breaking any of your laws just by thinking it. Don't care. I don't believe it's the gods talking. Have you seen him? He's covered in scars. Thought he earned those in battle. If you call the strife in his heart and head a battle, I've asked him about it. 
He said the voices command him to hurt himself for the glory of the <laughs> gods. I think not. It's not the gods. It's Aki. So you believe Aki's getting his revenge because Udelric let him die? I've talked to Yort. He swears Udelric didn't start hearing voices till after Aki's death. And I don't think Yort's mistaken. He knew both those boys from the cradle. I think we have to give Brokvar to Aki, and he'll leave Udlerik alone. Not a bad idea, on condition it's a ghost we're dealing with. But something doesn't add up. What's that? Aki drowned at sea, said so yourself. But the ghost haunts this house. Aki and Udlerik both lived here. Maybe that's why. Thanks for your help, Geralt. But I've got- Out of the question. Really? No chance. You're weak. Might pass out again along the way. Wait here, we'll go together. So, what about that cellar? <clears throat> Where is the key? There. Platter. Just a platter. Mm -hmm. Nothing here. Get over there. Do I have to go around? Nope. Around is not an option. I cannot jump up there. I cannot jump up there. to the cellar. Brainy, brainy. Let's put on some lights. about what the freak Find the sword? I found it. Let's go. After you then. You and my da. You were mates once, right? Hope we still are. But well, I heard you fell out over something or someone. Talking about that story with Yennefer? Long time ago that. In fact, that was before Croc met the woman who'd be your mother. That you and Yennefer had already met? <sighs> Uh, things were never cut and dried with Yen. What is it about her? What is it that draws you? Dunno. Maybe, uh, it's because I've never chosen comfort and ease, the calm and the quiet. Yeah. The calm, her. Black. 
Jennifer? Hmm. Don't know. Why do you ask? I just wonder why she let you come here alone. What do you mean, let me? Nothing. Not a thing. Just got the impression she doesn't like to let you out of her sight. Look, there they are. Horridly bright out here. Stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. The gods won't be pleased. <clears throat> Jarl, our guests, remember. What happened to your hand? I sacrificed it to the gods. Forgive him, Jarl. Geralt's got more to learn about our customs. We're close to the gods in Skellige. And the chummier you are, the greater the offering you make. It's our belief that the greatest thing a man can offer is his pain, his suffering. A pure sacrifice. To hear the gods is a gift, not a sacrifice. These voices you hear. The gods, their voices. More likely this is somehow related to your dead brother. I told Geralt of Aki. We concluded that... That the gods are angry at you, yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize to Aki himself. I... I didn't want to. Aki fell in the water. I... The gods will be angry. Let me help you, and I promise to do everything I can to keep from angering the gods. Heed the Witcher Jarl. Make amends to Aki and you'll surely please the gods. What would you have me do? Remember where Aki fell in the water? Near the Isle's eastern end, by the mouth of the bay, current had swept us towards Ulula's needle. It's a dangerous spot. Treacherous eddies swallow a handful of sailors each year. We need to sail there. Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar's return to his remains. No. No, no, no. The gods. They'll be angry. I feel it. Fear not, Jarl. The gods love you. And they loved Aki. Surely they want this. Well, maybe I can sail there. The sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no difference by whose hand. What do I look for? Did Aki have anything that'll help me recognize him? Something he was wearing that could survive all this time underwater? Aye. Our clan ring. That ought to be enough. I'm off. Well then, let's jump in a boat. And sail to the dead remains of Aki. Must be the place.
dusted. Let's grab the tre treasure as well. I think I'm wondering what that accomplished, if anything. Time to see Udalric. We'll just swim that far. Wait. Isn't that quest out here? Of course it is. Shit. Mm -hmm -hmm. Come on, you doofus, but I can take the boat anyway. Take the boat. Let's go. So while we sail back, we're gonna wrap things up here, and I'll catch you guys with the next episode. Uh, stay tuned.